All right, the Radio Master TIC 16S in, uh, in, in the other Radio Master radios, like the Boxer and the Zorro, they're marketed as a 16 channel radio. In reality, it has 16 channels for each module. Uh, you know, I've heard this could be done, and just out of my own curiosity, I got all the parts set up on the back of my radio. I do have a 4 in 1 external module, and then my internal module is also 4 in 1. I've, I've set this all up with the, the battery, a little ESC, and uh, four different receivers to show you how you would configure this to get access to all 32 channels that are on this radio. So I've got the channels shown here on my channel monitor on two screens. Uh, first page here shows through 18 channels. If I go to the next page, I've got 17 through 32 just to show both modules. So this, these are on the external module and up through 16, these are on the internal module. And I've got this mapped. So my SA switch controls channel 8. SB is on 16. If I go to the next page, I've got SC controlling channel 24 and SD controlling channel 32, just so I can demonstrate that I do have those outputs going to servos. And I have this listed, linked up to these. This servo here is connected to channel 8 on the receiver number 1. This servo is connected to channel 8 on this one. This servo is connected to channel 8 on this one. And then this uh, servo is connected to channel 8 on that one. So I just wanted to get the top output for each one. And of course, your number 1 receiver will also do your uh, first four primary controls, you know, AETR, but I don't have any servos connected to that. But if I was moving the sticks, you know, you'd get them on those first four channels. Uh, but the way you set this up, uh, the internal RF is set for uh, FR Sky X D16, and you set channels 1 through 16. I'm going to go through all this on the radio just so you can see. I just wanted to kind of overview it. Uh, external RF, uh, also the same protocol, and it is assigned to channels 17 through 32. So. I'll show you how to do that. Right now, I've got it set up on the small ESC and just an on-off switch to turn on the power to these receivers. So let me energize these. They're bound up now, but I'm going to go through the bind procedure so you can see how you'll set this all up. So you can see I've got, I can control, uh, SA controls that servo, SB controls the channel 16, SC controls channel 24, and SD controls channel 32. So you can see I've got all one radio, two modules I've got connected, bound up to four different receivers at the same time with the unique channels. Okay, so let me go through the process and show you how you do this here. Let's say these were not all connected up right now. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go into my first, this is your, you set up one model that will run all these. And I don't know what you're going to do with 32 channels, but this is just a proof of concept so you can see how you actually do it. Set up a model, go to your internal RF first. So we're going to set up the first two receivers first, and I'm setting the <clears throat> FR Sky X protocol D16. You know, and you'd need to go do your fine tuning and stuff. I'm not going to worry about it for this demonstration. Uh, and I do have this set for low power mode, just because I've got the the transmitter so close to the receivers, it'll complain about that because you get the signal swamping. Uh, but just go down for your first for your internal module. You want it set for a channel range of one to sixteen. And this is what I'm showing up here: channels one to sixteen. Hey, anyway, I'm using receiver 10, uh, ID 10 because that's unique to my radio. But And then when you go to bind, you can select channels 1 to 8, telemetry on, 1 to 8, telemetry off, 9 to 16, telemetry on, or 9, 9 to 16, telemetry off. Uh, one key thing on it is you do want to only have telemetry on. It doesn't have to be the first one, but you want to have telemetry on only on one of the receivers because if you, if you turn on telemetry for more than one receiver, you're going to get conflicting data because they're they're all transmitting the exact same telemetry values and the radio is going to receive those both so for example if I had both of these uh, telemetry on for both of these but I'm looking at <coughs> um, voltage on say this one this is my little voltage sense lead you saw that other video but uh, if I'm looking at pack voltage on this one but I also have telemetry on here but it's not reading pack voltage then the this one's going to send out a zero volt, and this one's going to send out whatever pack voltage is, and they're going to constantly be conflicting with each other. So, uh, you know, you won't get accurate data consistently. So you only want to have telemetry on for one of them. It doesn't matter which one you want, but anyone can be doing it, but just only have it on one. I'll have it on with number one here. So we're going to go for, for the first, uh, first receiver is channel one to eight, telemetry on. And then you want to do the bind procedure. So I'm going to hold the button down. Uh, some of these other ones are going to connect. It doesn't really matter. I'm holding the button down. I'm going to power them up. 
So I've just put that one into bind mode. And when it blinks twice, that's when you want to hit bind. So yeah, when it got to the D16, now it's blinking quick and it'll establish a bind. Now you can see I'm linked up to that one. I can flip my switch, so I'm rebound to that. <clears throat> okay, now let's do number two. I'm going to click on bind. This time I'm going to go to telemetry off channels 9 to 16. So let me power these off again. Now let's put this one in bind mode. Power it up. Okay, now that's in bind mode. I'm going to get the two beeps. Hopefully I caught it in time. Okay, that one I caught quick enough. Let it do its bind. Okay, there we go. Now I can see my SB switch is now bound up to that one. Okay, so now we're going to back out and we're going to go to the external RF here. Same protocol. I've also got this one set to low power just to avoid problems here. But you can see now my channel range on this one is set for 17 to 32. I've got a different receiver number. And I'm going to set up bind, and even though it's not channels 1 to 8 or 9 to 16, this is the first half and this is the second half, so you still want to do it this way. Oops. So, but I'm going to do, instead of telemetry on, I'm going to do 1 to 8 telemetry off for receiver number 3. So let's power it off. Put this one in bind mode. Okay, we're in bind mode. As soon as I get the two blinks, I'll hit the button. We'll bind up to that one. Okay, now I'm rebound to that. SC, you can see, will move channel 24. And we can do it one more time, then we'll have our fourth one. This one's going to be channel 9 to 16, telemetry off. Okay, we'll power them back off. Put this one in bind mode. Power up. And we're going to hit bind. So we're all bound back up again. Now you can see I've got control of each of these. I got channel 8, channel 16, channel 24 here, and channel 32. And of course you can set up any any of these channels. You can use now you can use all of these output channels with these four receivers hooked up to it. So, you know, your use case might vary. You know, I can think of, you know, the, I think sailing ships and stuff, uh, RC sailing ships have a lot of channels that they require, uh, maybe some kind of robotics or whatever, but uh, whatever your use case is, that's how you would do it. Uh, I'm not aware of any other protocols besides FR Sky uh, XD16 that lets you do that. Uh, if you know of any other receivers that let you select 1 to 8, 9 to 16. I'm not sure if there's any ELRS receivers that have those options or not. Uh, if you do, put them in the comments below. Share it with the others so we can uh, you know, have a better idea. I searched the multi-protocol module uh, documentation. I didn't come across any other that lets you do it that way. But uh, if you do need that many channels, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching.